Orthosis for de Kervin's tenosynovitis. Here, we will demonstrate how to fabricate a radial gutter immobilization orthosis for patients with a diagnosis of de Kervin's tenosynovitis, a tendonitis of the extensor tendons of the first dorsal compartment. Cut two strips of orphicast six centimeters wide. Measure each two times the length from the thumb to the middle third of the forearm and cut the orphicast accordingly. Heat both pieces at the same time. Press the two pieces onto each other, creating one thicker strip. Place the orphicast on the radial dorsal surface of the forearm and wrap in the middle around the thumb. Pull through the web space and adhere back onto the dorsal surface of the orthosis. Hold the thumb in a functional position while avoiding any radial slope. Mold the orthosis to conform during the hardening time. Once set, remove the orthosis and trim away any excess material. Round the corners of the orthosis. Heat the dorsal part of the orthosis with a heat gun. Heat the self-adhesive glue of the Velcro hook and stick the Velcro hook onto the orthosis. Cut a wide strip of Velcro loop and strap the orthosis onto the forearm. There, a second strap of Velcro loop can be attached around the wrist. Cut away any excess Velcro loop and round the corners.